In today's video, I am going to be taking a first look at Noble, which is a new app that allows me to keep all of my Webflow and Airtable databases in sync. I'm very excited to try it out, so without further ado, let's get into it. <music> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Connor, and on this channel, I make a whole bunch of videos on how you can start your own online business using no code tools like Webflow, Airtable, and Zapier. So, today is a very, very exciting day for me because a new app has been released called Noble, which allows me to essentially turn Airtable into my Webflow database. Now, if you've watched videos on this channel before, you'll know that I use Airtable as my main database to run the Unicorn Factory, which is my freelancer marketplace in Canada and in New Zealand. Now, the main reason why I use Airtable as my database rather than the Webflow CMS is because it gives me a lot more flexibility integrating with other services and tools that I use to run the platform. Now if you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about I highly recommend checking out some of my earlier videos that I put out there showing you how I actually use Airtable as my main database to do things like freelancer onboarding to forward on all the messages. I'll link it above so you can just go and start there. But if you are already working on a Webflow site and you use Airtable as your database then this video here will be very, very relevant to you because we can now use this tool called Noble, which essentially allows us to use Airtable as our Webflow CMS. Noble was created by the FinSuite team who also happened to make a whole bunch of other Webflow related products. They also have their own YouTube channel where they make a whole bunch of in-depth tutorials on how you can do some really, really fancy things inside of your Webflow project. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check them out too. So Noble was released earlier this week. So it's still in its very early stages, but from what I've seen and what I've heard about it, it's going to be an absolute game changer for the no-code community because it allows you to basically manage your Webflow CMS from inside of Airtable. Now syncing up your Airtable and Webflow database has been possible. I've been using a tool called Parabola to make sure that all of the Airtable data gets updated inside of Webflow on a regular basis but Parabola is not a super easy tool to learn for anyone who's just getting into using Webflow, Airtable and Zapier. Now if Noble ends up doing what they say they're going to be able to do then it will be a lot easier for people just getting into Webflow, Airtable and Zapier to use Airtable as their main Webflow database and that will be an absolute game changer because Airtable just allows you to do so many more things than the current setup of the Webflow CMS. Now obviously there are a lot of different use cases that you can go over with new tools like this but for this particular video I'm going to keep it super simple and I'm going to focus on the essentials which is first of all getting data from Webflow into Airtable and then from Airtable into Webflow. So I will be making future videos reviewing other tools that do similar kind of things to see how they all compare to each other and if you have any other questions about these particular workflows then also let me know in the comments down below but before we get into it do me a quick favor if you haven't already subscribe to the channel like the video means a lot but without further ado let's get into it Okay, so what I'm going to be working on today is I am going to get my collection of all of my YouTube videos from inside of my personal website all the way into a new table that I'm creating inside of Airtable. So step number one is getting set up with Noble and I've already gone ahead and set it up. All you need to do is find your API key, connect it to um, the Airtable app and then you will be good to go. First of all, we're gonna pick our site, which is my personal website, and then we're going to select our collection, which is my YouTube collection. So, the goal now is to get all of the information that sits inside of my YouTube collection into Airtable. So I am going to first of all select the table that I'm going to be working with and the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to map some of the mandatory fields which is first of all the Webflow item ID, the name of the actual item and then also the slug. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a field inside of this ear table for each of those mandatory fields. Okay, so far so good. They are all single line text, so that was easy enough. So now what we want to do is we want to match up those Webflow fields to these Airtable fields. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and match them up. So item ID is item ID, name is name, and slug is slug. Fantastic. So now we obviously want to add more than just those fields. We want to add things like our images and our bio and all those types of things. So I'm going to start adding the fields that allow me to then map my Webflow collection to Airtable. So first one, additional info. So the additional info field is a rich text field. So what I'm going to need to do inside of Airtable is use a rich text field as well or also a markdown field. So that is long text with rich text enabled and I'm going to call this 
video about. Now, as soon as you add this particular field, you can then just map it. So you'll see it's available down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and map this. The next field I wanna map is the thumbnail. So again, thumbnail is an image. So what I'm going to be using here is an attachment field. And again, I'm just gonna map this as well. Then I have a description field, which I am going to create also as a uh, long text, but without the rich text enabled. And then I also have multi-reference fields for specific tags, and those tags um, are called categories. Now, so from what I can see, what I'm gonna need to do now is reference my categories inside of this particular table here to a new table in Airtable, and then I need to go ahead and then set up a reference for that Airtable table inside of the Webflow collection. Now, that's gonna to take too much time. I feel like that is something for a different video, so I'm gonna skip the uh, tags for now, but we know it is possible, so that is fantastic. So now, once I am done with the mapping, now what I wanna do is I wanna figure out where the data will be taken from. So I am just going to choose Webflow for this one because of course, at the moment, this table is empty. And then um, the updating can either happen every 10 minutes, every hour, or every day. So that's phenomenal. So I'm just gonna do this manually for now because I'm just testing it. So I'm gonna click on Save and Publish and we are underway. So it's just actually started. <laughs> And you can see now that all of the different fields are populating, except for the ones that I don't need. And I have my Webflow item IDs in here. I've got the name for all of my videos in here, which is 43 of them, fantastic. I've got my slugs. I've got my about section, which is in kind of rich text. So there's some formatting issues here, but that's all good. Um, I'd say this is definitely good enough. And I have got all of my thumbnails in here. Fantastic. And I have got all of my descriptions. So this was very fast, very seamless, a lot faster than I actually thought it would be. Um, now it says here that it created 43 records and it deleted three. Now, I assume the three that it deleted were the three records that get added by default when you create a new table inside of Airtable. So that is all good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna remove all of the fields that I don't need. And I am going to also write a quick formula that allows me to automatically populate the title. And so, so far so good. So we've tested the um, Webflow to Airtable step, which is fantastic. Now what we wanna do is we wanna try it the other way around as well. So one thing that I wanna add is I wanna add a different kind of tagging system for um, who the types of videos are for. So I'm going to have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now I've created that field inside of Webflow and you can see I've got beginner, intermediate and advanced. Um, but if we go ahead into my collection, you can see that most of them haven't been populated yet. So what I'm gonna try and do now is populate it inside of Airtable and then use Noble to sync all of those updated records with whatever experience level is required for that video. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and populated a bunch of fields. I have to probably go over and see how uh, legit that is. But um, now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and set up the sync that goes the other way around. So I'm gonna start off by creating a new connect, or actually let me quickly see if I can use this existing one because in theory I should be able to say data will be taken from Airtable and then just add a new field. By the way, I'm trying this out in real time so we're learning as we're going. So I'm gonna map the experience field with the experience field and then we're just gonna go and save it. Now, that is done, we're just gonna hit publish and hope that we don't delete our entire database. Okay, so we can see a whole bunch of them are being updated, which is always a very good sign when it's the updated number that goes up, not the deleted number. And so that's it, 43 have been processed and now let's go in here, hit the refresh button, see what has happened. And now the moment of truth experience, and it has all been added. That is fantastic. So, as you have seen, all I had to do is just populate all the fields from in here, 
and I have then basically managed to update all of my Webflow items with the experience level just by clicking the publish button. And that is an absolute game changer because now if I wanna go and add more um, fields, all I need to do is just add them, map them to my collection inside of Webflow and then just hit the publish button and it will automatically update. And that is it. That is my first little play around with Noble. Now, obviously I haven't taken it to the depths that I think you could possibly take it to. But if you go and have a look at the docs, you'll be able to see that you can actually map pretty much all of the field types from Webflow to Airtable and vice versa. There are some minor limitations, for example formulas, that was one thing that I was looking forward to that's not quite ready yet but it looks like it is on their roadmap so hopefully we'll see that soon. Another thing that is on their roadmap is being able to run these syncs from inside of specific views. Now for me that would be quite an important feature and I imagine for people who have a lot of records inside of the Airtable bases where they don't necessarily want to send all of that data to Webflow at once, it might be quite quite an important feature as well. But to be completely honest, considering that Noble's only been out for a few days, it is already at a state where it is super usable. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I personally use Parabola to sync data between each other and I've already got it all set up. But I kind of feel like this kind of tool will be very, very useful for anyone just getting started. So Parabola does have a little bit of a learning curve. They definitely do allow you to do a few more things that you definitely can't do with Noble. For example, you can connect it to other APIs, for example, Google Analytics, or Google Sheets or whatever else you're using to manipulate the data before it then actually gets sent to Webflow. But if you want to just simply connect to your Airtable base to Webflow, then Noble is definitely the better option. So I think one of the key benefits of a tool like Noble app is that now you'll be able to use Airtable as your database. And one of the coolest things about Airtable is they actually have a mobile app, which means that if you've been waiting for Webflow to release their own mobile app for the CMS, then you no longer have to wait because you can now just actually control that data from inside of Airtable and then use Noble to sync it up in those intervals that they mentioned. For example, every 10 minutes, every hour or whatever else it is. Another thing that I think we can all be very excited about is that as soon as they have the views feature where you can run Noble from specific views, then you'll be able to actually skip a lot of the manual setup that's otherwise required inside of Zapier to send data from Airtable to Webflow. So not just is it going to be a huge time saver, it's also going to be a significant money saver. Lastly, I think the fact that you can now build out entire databases inside of Airtable and then seamlessly send that data to say, a pre-built landing page inside of Webflow will mean that it will be a lot easier to quickly spin up sites, for example, directories, marketplaces, and all those types of things without having to know all of the different intricacies of tools like Zapier or Integromat or Parabola. One minor concern that I do have, but again, we are four days into Noble being live, so I am going to be patient, is that when I look at all of the other workflows that I've got set up inside of tools like Parabola, Zapier, and, also, and so on, I actually also include other tools in my workflows. For example, I send data to MailerLite, I send data to MemberStack, and it looks like Noble is just a straight Airtable to Webflow sync. So unless there is going to be a way to integrate it with Airtable automations or Airtable scripts, I kind of feel like there'll have to be a lot of workarounds in order to make these workflows work with all of the other tools. But with that being said, those are some very, very fringe use cases. So if you are just getting started and you are thinking about potentially using Airtable as a database, then definitely use this tool and see how you can connect it to Webflow. Have a play around with it. I mean, as you saw from the video, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. And I think that this is really gonna move the Airtable Webflow Zapier maker community forward by quite a bit. Now, all that is left is we now just need MemberStack to do the same, Stripe to do the same, MailerSend to do the same, MailerLite to do the same, and before you know it, we'll be running our entire businesses from inside of Airtable. And so that is it. Joe and the rest of the team at FinSuite, you really nailed it with this one. I think this is going to be a game changer, and I am definitely gonna be making more videos about this tool, but also some other tools that do similar things in the future, just to kind of see how everyone stacks up against each other. I hope Hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like leave a comment down below and i'll see you back here for the next one